morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Monday for us and we are getting back into the swing of things. Yesterday was an amazing day. It was Mother's Day yesterday and it was just, ugh, it was so great. It was so great. It was like the, one of the best days. Um, I didn't film anything and we ended up going out to dinner last night. So like a whole big group of us went out to dinner and it was just so much fun. So it was a really, really good day. So we are back to eating at home. Um, and also yesterday I got all of my beef broth finally like done and canned. All my beef bone broth that I've been working on and I got 15 cans. I, well, I got, let's see, 12 pints and two quarts of beef bone broth. So all that needs to be taken care of. Um, and washed up and put downstairs. And so that'll happen at some point today or it might not, it might happen tomorrow, who knows. But before we decided to go out to dinner, I'd actually put two pork roasts in the crock pot um, and I had no idea what we were gonna make with it. And I was just like, whatever, I don't know, I'll figure that out later. Gary and I did a lot of stuff outside in the morning. And then like when we got done, I was like, hey, what, should, what else should I make? And he was like, um, let's just go out to dinner. And I was like, mm -hmm, okay. And so we called some other people, asked them to go out. Everybody said yes. We went and had a huge group out and it was just amazing. It was just a beautiful day. So um, it was really, really great. I hope everyone else had a great Mother's Day as well. So today, back into the swing of things. We are in the middle of school, but also in the middle of some breaks. Kiddos wanted to get outside and do some stuff. So I'm like, please take your time, have fun, get all the energy out, and then we can focus on school. That is the beauty of homeschool. It, school goes around your schedule, you know? So if you wanna get it done in the morning, get it done in the morning. If you wanna do it at night, do it at night. Who cares? It's all up to you. So um, they're outside playing and just being kids, which is great. So uh, it rained, it's kinda wet. They're gonna have fun outside. They just love mud. And I feel like if they can't find mud, sometimes they'll just make their own mud. So um, I don't know what I'm gonna do today <clears throat> other than school. And I'm actually not even quite sure what we're gonna do for dinner. I did not go downstairs and get the food that we need for the week that goes with our meal plan because I really haven't been following our meal plan very closely because of all the changes and switch ups with Layla. Uh, so I just, I think we're going to do the pork from yesterday. I need to figure out the best way to reheat that. And I'm thinking maybe just some baked potatoes and a baked sweet potato for her. And then the green beans that I have in the fridge. That just might be dinner today. And that'll be really, really simple. So I might just do that and a salad. And then um, no clue what we're going to do for lunch or any of that stuff. At this point, I don't even know until it's time what we're gonna do because I just, everything that I have planned, I feel like she can't have. And all of our like quick meals, like our fish sticks or chicken nuggets, she can't have any of it. So um, it makes it really hard because other kids have been wanting fish sticks and we have them, but she, Layla loves fish sticks. And so I just don't know how to serve them to everybody and then not serve them to her. So I don't know what we're gonna do. So while the little kids play outside, Ashlyn and I are going to do her schoolwork. So we have a little second breakfast going on here for just Everly and Wilder currently. So pears that they didn't eat at breakfast. So I just saved them and put them back on here with some cereal and a hard boiled egg for both of them. So I just got Layla down for a nap, which excites the kids because now they can have fish sticks for lunch. And then when she wakes up, she can have something else. So we have fish sticks going in the oven. And right now I'm getting potatoes wrapped up in foil to put in the crock pot. Normally when I do baked potatoes in the crock pot, I just throw them in there. I don't put foil on them or anything, but I'm doing a mixture of sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. And I don't want the sweet potatoes. Sometimes they'll like, leak sweet potato juice out and I don't want that to happen for them to get on the other potatoes. So I'm just going to individually wrap each one of them and put it in here to hopefully prevent that. That's the only reason. So normally I don't. Today we're going to. So I just put them on low for six hours. This is a great way to cook baked potatoes. They're always perfectly, perfectly done and you don't really have to worry about it or think about it. Throw them in there and it works out 
amazingly. So Wilder also wanted his chicken from last night. He had a little bit left from dinner that we went to. So I just gave the girls, Ashton doesn't want any applesauce, but I gave Everly applesauce and they both have peppers. While everybody eats lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and work on Bible since everybody's sitting here. <laughs> Gary put it in a bag for me. I haven't even looked at it. I don't know how much is in there because when we did the roast before, there was a lot of fat on them. And this is from the same pig because we let him go way too long and he had a lot of fat because he was a pet. So um, I need to pull the meat out of the roast. I'm gonna put it in this little dish and then give it some apple juice maybe a little bit of seasoning and I'm going to pop it in the oven. I'm going to wrap it with foil, pop it in the oven for about 200 or 200 for about two hours on 200. That way it can slowly warm up. It doesn't dry out. Hopefully that's, that's my plan and my goal anyway. Um, so first things first, I need to go through this bag. There's two roasts in here and pull out all the meat. some red garlic well let's put some apple juice in there first put some red garlic on it some apple wood and some cowboy seasoning With dinner, we're gonna finish off these green beans. So I just need to boil some water, put these in there, and that'll be done. And then the potatoes are done, and the pork is done, and dinner will be done. Here's how our pork came out. It looks a lot better than I was thinking it was gonna look, but it looks kind of delicious now. I was kind of worried when I was putting it in an oven, but now it looks a lot better. Here's how our dinner came out tonight. I got a regular potato. The kids have sweet potatoes, the pork roast, and green beans. 